You're not even the fart. I be going hard. Like, can I tell I'm quicker? I'm thick, but I'm thicker. Y'all listen to that song. How do, how do y'all feel about it? Fart. And I be going hard. But I, I saw the music video today. You know how a disappointed grandma look? Like a disappointed big mama looks when like her kid is just acting a fool. <laughs> that was literally me the whole entire time. And you know what? It wasn't even because of her twerking and throwing ass in the video. It wasn't even that. It was just like the bars were so mid. Like who is writing for this girl? <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Exis and this is my channel Exis Does. And if you were to ask me what I do on this channel, it's what it do and commentary. A uh, featured plushie of the day is the pupa. I'm actually running low on plushies, so you might see some repeats. I like to call this one a pupa because it just looks, it gives pupa vibes. I don't know where I got it. I think I got it off of Amazon and it's an on so yours. Cute baby. Anyway, um, yeah. Well, welcome, welcome back. How's it going? What it be? What it do? How how we how we doing? Today we are here, hopefully briefly, to discuss some things in regards to more generation shaming, unfortunately. In my last video, I covered how this whole conversation between iPad kids, Sephora girls, drunk elephant, general generation shaming has gotten out of hand. I recently stated how a lot of people think millennials aren't raising their kids properly when it comes to giving them an iPad to look at, to keep them occupied, or when it comes to having their kids shop around the Sephora store and you know fully indulge in the the skincare line with the Sephora girls. I also mentioned how a lot of y'all are just shoving drunk elephant into the titles of your videos because SEO. Except I put drunk elephant in my video and I made it like a little pun and that video still underperformed. Maybe that's the algorithm th being like hey hey don't be cocky exes. Say the same exact thing everybody else is saying about drunk elephant. I don't know I find that humans like the species of us like so like gullible sometime because because y'all are basically calling little girls fast for wanting to go to Sephora and buy drunk elephant and skincare products and you know engage in adult activities y'all are just calling these girls some version of fast and you can just tell on tiktok that that's where you guys are inevitably leading down to is that these these little girls too fast right which is a um slippery slope into uh slut shaming territory you you should have known better little girl like i don't know like i don't, I don't like it but that's that's kind of what y'all are doing a little bit this idea of worrying about the kids and pinpointing it on like one specific thing in this case drunk elephant and ipad kids this isn't anything new like i i'm almost like fascinated for example millennials have learned to be more emotionally intelligent but like gen z i'd like to think y'all are a little bit more emotionally intelligent and i'd also like to think we're all just like in general like really smart about like some of the things we think about right the, the way trends work and the way things operate and a part of me just kind of wonders when we were younger people were worried about the impact britney spears and eminem and hip-hop music would have on us and grand theft auto would have on us and for the most part, a lot of us turned out fine. Do y'all not see that worrying about little girls wanting drunk elephant is kind of like the same thing? And then even doing this thing where like, oh, we worry about the kids and the kids, you know, they, they wanna, they, they, they want drunk elephant and you know, it's just so sad. And you know, they, they're worried about their body images and their appearance. And yeah, they are worried about their body images and appearance. We live in a society where social media tells us that if we don't look attractive, we don't have access to resources. We have millions upon millions upon millions of dissertations about pretty privilege and social constructs of it, right? However, sometimes I be thinking a lot of y'all really don't care about the kids. Sometimes I think a lot of y'all actually just care about one, what gets you the views. No, you'll get the views if you talk about children, right? And the concerns of children. And three, y'all really don't have a solution. And and you guys use kids as, you know, bait. Best in class way to get somebody's uh, attention with any concern going on in media is you throw in the children. What about the children? You, you sprinkle that in, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle that in a little bit, right? Uh, now people are listening. Now it's a concern. Now we need to be worried about the next generation ahead of us. 
y'all are trifling sometimes. But anyway, <laughs> today we are brought here because the generation shaming has in fact gotten out of hand. We, we did talk about how millennials are being called out for not raising their kids correctly. Personally, I don't think that them not raising their kids correctly is the only problem. I think that the way the world is working right now, the way everything is incredibly unaffordable, the way wages just aren't really adding up to the amount of money things cost, it's just very, very hard to have kids in 2024. I, I just believe that with my whole chest. There is not a lot of community. We are all kind of into our own little devices. And I, I do think that we have became more selfish and a little bit more individualistic. And I also think that we are weighing in on conversations and think pieces that aren't really like, we really shouldn't be concerned about and we're having conversations about things that aren't really worth our time shouldn't really be the topic of discussion and what i mean here is that now as we were dragging the millennials for not raising their kids properly there are millennials now dragging gen z for looking way older than their age you know this has been a tiktok trend where there's this little 18 19 year old girl on, on there who's like gen z look older than who and then there'll be like some millennial who's like in their 30s being like me bitch and I'm 34 and it's like okay girl like relax I really want to talk about this a little bit because I'm I guess one of my first questions I got is aren't y'all tired of going back and forth with each other the millennial generation okay the millennial generation and the gen z generation for the most part not the older millennials who basically grew up with the 90s kids like they're basically younger gen x but like millennials and gen z y'all are so close to each other like y'all have a lot of parallels and a lot of overlaps why are y'all going back and forth on the internet who's older who's younger who's not raising their kids properly who's over entitled who's this who's that blah blah blah, blah. like stop why do y'all keep doing that that's weird in my honest opinion the conversation circulating about whether or not gen z has gotten older has stemmed from the idea of a couple of things one of the first things that started garnering this conversation apparently kylie jenner there was a picture of her without the filters It was like a video and she looked tired honestly and it looked like all the fillers and botox that was in her face or more specifically fillers they looked like they were drooping and she kind of looked exhausted personally i like i'm not a fan of the car jenners i'm not but i think people were a little bit too hard on her especially when you know like y'all are just super hard on women and their appearances they could be dressed up to the nines and there'll still be a problem with them they, they could look as bummier than me and y'all still will dra drag them like there's, there's there's no grace for women there really isn't i'm sorry like there just is people are on the internet and they were like this is the product of gen z doing too much botox and too much filler they are just these experiments and you're just seeing the aftermath of it kylie her face is drooping now she looks like a 40 year old she doesn't look like a 26 year old 26 year olds should not be looking like that they should be looking more youthful gen z is aging whatever and i think this is what ushered in this idea that gen z does look a lot older and a lot of people have been chiming in as to why and i'm sorry outside of like kylie jenner being a singular woman who is like the face of gen z having one filler one botox procedure too many and it's starting to droop a lot of y'all are out here doing like wait like y'all are on the internet doing wait 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 too much because now you guys are talking about well back in my day when i was in middle school i wasn't wearing all this makeup in high school i wasn't wearing all this makeup i'm a no natural natural girl you know i don't believe in wearing all that makeup i don't believe in wearing all those lace fronts this that yeah do you all not see how pick misha y'all most of y'all sound that you guys intentionally bully the millennials about y'all will sit up here and be like oh we hate those not like the other girls but in the same breath will try to be not like the other girls ranting in your nissan ultima about how back in your day you didn't wear that much wake up and that's why you look so youthful now reason that gen z looks so much older is because millennials was not allowed to wear makeup in middle school boys was not checking for you if you had makeup on and when i'm talking about makeup i'm talking about you could wear a little uh mascara a little eyeliner but the boys was not checking for the girlies with the foundation makeup we're talking about black people here no but what white people was doing but it was not a flex to have weave or makeup like it was a thing they wouldn't even talk to you if your hair was fake will you, you they will roast you so bad if you had weave outside of like braids or something at least in colorado where i'm from denver where i'm from i cannot speak for 
anywhere else, but being a natural girly was a flip. And for me personally, we didn't even start wearing makeup till we was in our 20s. And y'all had to watch us fail in our 20s with thick ass eyebrows, raccoon eyes, like this is why they look older. They don't start wearing heavy ass foundation in, in middle school, high school. So y'all can come for me if you want, but stop it the millennials trying to come at gen z that especially just gives even stuffier like oh you know we're the cool ones energy like f you guys like no first of all a lot of y'all who have been doing that tiktok meme of gen z look older than who trend a lot of y'all i'm sorry i hate to break it to you i hate to be the bearer of bad news a lot of y'all look your age a lot of y'all look like you're 34 a lot of y'all look like you're 30. A lot of y'all look like you're 40. And that that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But why are you trying to compete with Gen Z? Why? Stop, stop that. Stop competing with 20 year olds. It's, it's weird. It's cringe. A lot of the reasons why y'all think that Gen Z moves older than they do is because they've gone through a lot at a young age. But here's the gag, right? We all went through a lot at a young age. All of us did, millennials included. Even the oldest of the older millennials realized like when Princess Diana died, that was like a big moment for a lot of them. When I was five, 9-11 was a thing. When I was 12 or 13, the recession happened. When I was in my 20s, politics became a literal joke when y'all let a reality TV star become the president of the United States. And then when I was in my mid to mid to late twenties, the pandaronium was here to stay. And guess who was behind me when all that was happening? Gen Z. The reason why a lot of y'all think that Gen Z looks older than they actually are is because of their stress. Like they've gone through a lot of things. They've gone through a lot of traumatizing things. Can you imagine being in the pandaronium and realizing you won't get to go to your high school graduation or realizing that things are so horrible, people are getting laid off left and right, the economy sucks, that you probably won't even be able to go to college. So you have to like pick up a full-time job at a motel somewhere. Like, can you imagine how traumatizing that is to some people that they are just trying to get it out the mud and they just can't do that? And it's, again, it's not just Gen Z. It's also millennials too. We're struggling too. We're all going through it and this idea that oh well social media they just know how to do more they're not going through their in-between phase they're dressing too adult they're acting too grown what does that even mean what is wrong like makeup specifically okay i i, I want to expand on this with makeup okay what is wrong with gen z skipping the awkward phase of learning how to put on their makeup another question i have why do we feel threatened when a minor puts on a full face beat of makeup what about that makes you uncomfortable because like i can understand if it's like a 13 year old wearing clothes that are very inappropriate for her age like like fashion nova i'm about to go smoke hookah and and twerk with the girls type of outfits like i can understand on a 13 year old how that could be like okay make, that's inappropriate right but the makeup y'all skipped over the idea because you know we're not we don't think on the internet anymore we, we're just I, like i said we're in our nissan ultimas and our honda accords and in our bedrooms just like you know spewing whatever comes out of our, our mouth you know i'm one of them i'm gonna be real what about a 15 year old a 16 year old wearing a full beat face intimidate like makes you viscerally uncomfortable it's going to this idea of they look fast but if it's just a full beat face their clothing is age appropriate what's the problem like what's the real problem a lot of this age shaming back and forth left and right is coming from a bad place it's not coming from a good place it's coming from a place of malice a lot of this like children panic what about the children we need to worry about the children rhetoric it's not coming from a good place if it's not because it's a trending um topic it's probably coming from a place of bitterness it is well back in my day we didn't have those things today isn't your day disney channel's flopping disney is flopping we're not gonna have another disney channel factory why do we need another disney channel factory half of 
of those actors and actresses lost their goddamn mind. Why do we need that, okay? The tween spaces for kids, you don't even know them. How do you know them? You're 20 years old, you're 23 years old. Gen Z is out here looking older for their age. You also look older for your age, Kaylee. You also look older for your age, Keisha. You look old for your age because you're stressed and you're on the internet all the time and you know everything about anything that's going on in the world. We're all stressed. We're all stressed. In 2021, the smile lines, the bags, prominent bags, these crow's feet, they kicked in out of nowhere because I just realized life is going to shit right now. And I'm 30, okay? I need some water. I'm getting passionate adults in their mid 20s early 20s and late tweens what they're going through how intense it is for them no one's even talking i think i'm into this kind of want y'all to see its face though I, i'm gonna i'm gonna try this okay no one's actually even talking about like and i'm gonna just be so real here gen z and younger millennials and probably even older millennials have been lied to about how this world works, bro. Like this, like we have been literally lied to. We are going through this existential crisis where we realize that college just ain't it anymore. And we realize this after we spend thousands upon thousands upon thousands of hundreds of thousands of dollars into college and grad school. I am not telling y'all not to get your education. I'm saying that the system of college and education as it is just ain't doing it anymore we collectively realize we'll go into all of this debt going to college trying to work and toil to pay it off we'll get all these degrees only for us to work a job that isn't even gonna pay us enough to pay off the debt that we got from getting these degrees that is devastating to a lot of us that in and of itself is stressful jobs not paying us our worth is stressful See, remember that girl who sat up here she was in her room and she was borderline crying because she said most of her day is gone because she works a nine to five on site and half of it is spent traveling and most of her day is spent working and then when she gets home she has no time to herself and y'all just laughed at her like and annoying but this is my first job like my first nine to five job after college and i'm in person and i'm commuting in the city and it takes me fucking forever to get there there's no way i'm gonna be able to afford living in the city right now so that's off the table like fucking duh if i was able to walk to work and it would it'd be fine but i'm not so it literally takes me like i leave here like i get on the train at 7 30 and i don't get home till like 6 15 earliest and then like i don't have time to do anything i don't i want to shower eat my dinner and go to sleep i don't have time or energy to cook my dinner either like i don't have energy to work out like that's out the window like i'm so upset oh my god nothing to do with my job at all but just like the nine to five schedule in general is crazy being in the office nine to five like if it was remote you get off at five and you're home and everything's fine but like i'm not home it takes me long to get home and like like people that drive to the office like it doesn't you don't get off at five and i know it could be worse i know i could be working longer but like i literally get off it's pitch black like i don't have energy how do you have friends like how do you have time to like meet like a guy i don't know like how do you have time for like dating like i don't have time for anything and i'm like so stressed out y'all were just like mm, suck it up sweetie snowflake snowflake anybody ask that girl how much she's making Anybody ask that girl how much she's making an hour? How much she makes a year? If she's even getting paid a yearly salary? Or is she getting paid hourly? Does she get benefits? Does she get health care? Did any of you guys ask that? Or do y'all just sit up here and say, Gen Z is soft. Gen Z is soft. They're so soft. No, nobody asked that. Because I can almost guarantee you she wouldn't be complaining as much if she was making anywhere between 120 to 130K a year. She'd be like, dang, this sucks. But at least all of my basic needs are met. A lot of folks' needs are just not the basic core basic are not met i have been seeing information going around about how job stability job stability is imagine being 21 years old freshly graduating from college around this time where everyone's getting laid off left and right right and someone tells you that the idea of job stability that job stability that you have spent a good four not even four years most of your academic career working towards is that the opportunity for you to get a basic solid job that can meet all of your needs is done and you're 21 coming out of this economy coming out into the real world in this economy in this economy mm. Y'all not realize how traumatizing that is to a lot of these people, a lot of these young adults. They are telling us, let me break it down, okay? Cause I don't think a lot of y'all get it, okay? They are telling us that if we get a nine to five, 
even if it pays us well, even if it pays us a solid six figure, if it pays us a good 110 to 150K, 15K a year, if we get health insurance, if we get benefits, life insurance, all of them, they are telling us that being financially stable will not come from your job. That is, you have to figure out another way how to be financially stable. And you know what the gag is? No one knows how to get that financial stability. Social media will tell you, the internet will tell you, oh, you need to pick up a side hustle. The internet will tell you, uh, you need to get into digital marketing. You need to get into affiliate marketing. You need to become a content creator. You need to do this, 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 and that. Not realizing that those markets, especially the content creator market, content creator market is interesting. The creator economy is booming. It's big. It's worth like well over a billion dollars. Like I want to say like, apparently like over $500 billion, like it's worth a lot. But the, the gag about the creator economy, the content creator economy is just like anything, it is a bubble, okay? And what do bubbles do when they get too big? What, what do they do? They burst. So it's good now and it's good to get into it now. This is one of the most coveted careers. I mean, I, I, I really want to be a content creator, don't get me wrong, but I'm kind of in this space in my life and it's sad to admit it, that I don't even think I could quit my nine to five if I was able to be a full-time creator because they are telling us, look it up, okay? Job stability is financial security is in get it how you live in any way you can and that is terrifying for a lot of these 21 year olds these 20 year olds these 19 year olds these high school kids gen z in general all of gen z that is terrifying to sit up here and tell them that their world is shattered that the idea of that if they get good grade if they go to a good college do well at, at said good college and they graduate the guarantee of them having a job and getting some access to financial stability is like that is terrifying. No wonder all of us look like we're older. I'm gonna need y'all to relax and I'm gonna need y'all to stop saying Gen Z looks old for them at their age when you know damn well we all look old for our age. We're all stressed. We're all trying to figure out how to make it in this world. We all have collectively realized we can't buy houses anymore. The interest rates are too high. Jobs aren't hiring like that. They're not gonna be hiring for a while. And if they are hiring, they're going to have you jump 30, 40, 50 who apply to all these ghost jobs only for them to make sure that the boss's stepdaughter gets the role that you know you are well overqualified for. Everything's expensive. Inflation's high. A lot of Gen Z has to move back in with their parents. A lot of millennials have to move back in with their parents. No one could afford rent. Rent is expensive. It keeps skyrocketing over and over again. It's not sustainable. Everyone's like, well, you know, move where it's more affordable. Move where it's cheaper. Guess what? The places that are cheaper are skyrocketing in prices too. At this point, what, you want me to live in a little Ikea shoe, a shoe box designed by Ikea with roaches everywhere? Things are hard. People are stressed. No, Gen Z isn't aging because they are wearing too much makeup and they're skipping the tween phase of their childhood. You don't even know what their tween phase was. You don't even know what the tween phase of Gen Alpha is, to be honest with you. We all don't know what the world is gonna be in the next 10 years. To be honest, we don't even know if we'll have a world in the, in the next 10 years or so, but God be willing, we probably will. It's just, there's a lot of things going on that we all have access to, all have knowledge on, and we can't do too much about it. People are out here doing their best, getting it out of the mud, doing what they can and nothing's working. They're literally rubbing two pebbles together, hoping some sort of semblance of a fire comes and they can like live a somewhat, somewhat menial level of comfortability and they can't even do that. And that's why. I, I don't like the idea of, oh, well, they're, they, you know, they get all this Botox and filler in their face. Oh, okay. Oh. Do you know how much Botox and filler is, first of all? Do you know how much like going to a med spa is? Do you know how expensive it is to go to a med spa? Do you know how much money it is to get that done, to get needled up in your face? Just because you see Kylie Jenner's fillers drooping in one video, because Lee Gasp, she's a normal human being and she, she doesn't look as super filtered and pixel perfect as she does in her IG photos. Just because you see that once, doesn't mean that every single Gen Z kid is out here getting Botox and filler. Is it more popular with Gen Z now than it was before? Yeah, a little bit. Do some people tend to overdo it? Yes, they do, but 
and there's a big but. Can we say that the generation ahead of them didn't really acknowledge or let them know about the potential risk and have been experimenting on Gen Z when it comes to these new innovative medical procedures that they're engaging in? I mean, that might be a little bit of a rage. That might be a little bit of a conspiracy theory, but I think so. I think that if we're gonna sit up here and say that Gen Z looks older because they're more invested into Botox and filler and all of that, right? I also think that we have to hold accountable the generations ahead of them administering the Botox and filler in their face and not really being completely transparent about what the potential risks are. It shouldn't have taken me around 2018 to realize that filler can migrate. That should have like been well researched and well studied. The generation streaming has got to stop. A lot of y'all millennials, okay, y'all look like your age and that's fine. I know I probably look like my age and that's okay. Aging is beautiful, aging is okay we're all going to be fine. A lot of Gen Z looks their age. A lot of them look 20, a lot of them look 25, a lot of them look 26, 27. Some of them don't, some of them look older for their age. But I know collectively that a lot of us are just stressed. We are stressed. There's also millennials, excuse me. There's also millennials out there that look younger than their age too. But collectively, a lot of us are just stressed. A lot of us are tired. A lot of us are not, like we're trying to figure out how we're gonna like get through the next five years. Life just keeps throwing the punches, full throttle falcon punch style. And so instead of crapping on the girls who got to wear the lace fronts and the micro braids and the extensions in middle school, like cause, cause y'all didn't have that when you were in high school or whatever, or it wasn't cool to do that. And now it's cool now. You didn't get to live your peak, you know, hyper feminine, mean girl aesthetic lifestyle in high school. I get it. Like, instead of doing that, why not look around the world look around you, see what's going on and why people are just stressed all the time. Just look. Because I can almost guarantee you it isn't because they learned how to do a full beat face in 2016 from a Jaclyn Hill tutorial. Like I can almost promise you it wasn't that. Like you gotta relax with that, all right? Just because you weren't allowed to wear the full beat face of makeup when you were a kid, just because you weren't allowed to wear the heavy lip liner, lipstick, and you didn't know how to put on your whole eyeliner correctly, so you ended up looking like a raccoon or an extra bandmate from Panic at the Disco does not mean that the future generation ahead of you has to look that way. Does that mean they should look that way and it also should not mean that they're fast for putting on makeup and no they're, they're not fast i don't think it's coming from a, I, I worry about your childhood i very much so think it's coming from a place of like bitter and competition and and it's giving i still got it guys and it's like sweet yeah we know you still got it but you're 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 your age and that's okay like you, you can you can still have it and be your age another thing i want to add before i go is that gen z and millennials y'all need to be working together there is no reason for all this infighting like a lot of us parallel each other a lot of us relate like i know i relate more to gen z than i probably do older millennials and i don't think it's because i'm immature for my age i just think that like that's the era that i grew up in we were all in that age group but like one thing i want you guys to take away from this and i've mentioned this before generations do this thing where we all collectively worry about the generation ahead of us we all crap on the generation ahead of us and we all are a reflection of the generation that is ahead of us. If we know that to be true, then we should also understand that we also hold some of the responsibility. So if you're worried about Gen Z moving too fast, then you should also probably be worried about the idea that millennials, we also move just as fast too. Like we were doing all types of crazy stuff. I think it's because we have so much access to the internet and information and resourcefulness and tutorials and whatnot that we are able to explore with more things, experiment with more things and know more about the world around us. But I do think there's a downside to that. I do think it's very stressful knowing about every little thing that's going on in the world but I also think it helps in making us more aware of like what is actually happening. In conclusion, personally, personally, I think y'all should need to just stop the infighting with millennials and Gen Z. I think we can be very powerful if we just came together, all right? I feel like a lot of this infighting is like a distraction from something bigger that's going on or a distraction from like, us like actually getting together and being like, no, we're actually not the problem. Like other circumstances are, but that's neither here nor there. Gen Z isn't getting older. There are Gen Zers that look their age. They might've grown up a lot faster than a lot of millennials have, but 
for the most part, the reason why they are growing up a lot faster is probably due to the amount of information out there and that the system that we're living in right now is like literally the infrastructure is on its last, like it is on its last, it's on a splinter. It's not even on its last legs. It's on a splinter, a sliver of a splinter of its last legs. And they're all trying to figure out how to make it and how to get it together, just like we are, okay? Older millennials are the last of the generation where things were like seemingly hunky-dory. Pay off your rent and pay your bills and get yourself some nice things working a typical administration job. People are coming with buttloads of experience and they're still not getting paid their work. And then you wanna sit up here and laugh at the Gen Z girl because she thinks life is so hard because she has to spend most of her day at a job that doesn't even pay her her worth. Because you had to spend most of your time at a job that probably didn't didn't even pay you your worth when things got bad. Yikes. The goal is that we want our generation ahead of us to do better than the generation before us. Leave Gen Z alone. Gen Z doesn't look old. They, they look their age and that's fine. Millennials, you y'all look your age. Stop trying to compete with, stop trying to compete with folks that are 22 years old. Like stop it. You're 40 and that's okay. You're 32 and that's okay. You're 35 and that's okay. And you could look great for your age, okay? Fran Drescher was like 34 in the nanny. I didn't even know that. And do you also know who else is 34? SZA. SZA is 34. She's awesome, I love her. And so is Alexa, De Alexa Demai is like 32. Let me know in the comments if you think this generation shaming or this version or iteration of it has gone way too far on the internet. Let me know what you feel about, how you feel about Gen Z, if you think that they're getting older for their age or if you think that they are still pretty young. I personally think a lot of them don't look older for their age. They look their age. I, I just think people are just bored online and a little bitter <laughs> and trying to compete. But uh, let me know, let me know in the comments how y'all feel about that, okay? I'm gonna drink the last bit of my water. Don't forget to drink some water, okay? And stay off of TikTok. UMG removed all that music and y'all are literally doing dances to the Samsung 2010 alarm clock beat. It got you really out here trying to compete with a 19 year old and you're 39, like stop it. Stay off of TikTok, goodbye everyone. Mwah.